I was brought to earth on a cold and windy night, February 4th, 1921, as the fourth daughter of my parents. The date had no particular significance, aside that it was the anniversary of the death of my grandfather, who died long before that time. In 1935, father was again appointed by the central government of Nanjing and the Chiang Kai-shik as the mayor of the municipal of Tianjin. It was the most critical moment of North China situation. The smoldering hatreds between the Chinese and the Japanese people were ready to break out in clash in any instant. The two governments were still negotiating for peace and order. At the moment when China was not ready for war, Japan was desirous to enforce her demands in every way she could. In 1937, while my mother was taking a part of the family on a trip in Beijing, during the summer vacation, the incident of Marco Polo Bridge broke out suddenly. Right after we had rushed home, the war between the China and Japan started at Tianjin. A few hours after the first air raid, the good old city was in blazing fire. Flames leaped furiously, people rushing and pushing, howling and pounding on the street. Old women and children crowding on the roadsides, people came running, stamping over them. Bewildered cries, shouts, and curses shook the earth with rage. Such experiences brought me thoughts that never once occurred in my peaceful mind before. I was awakened from my deep dreams of life. The warm illusions of a world of happiness was at once shattered. In 1938, I was sent abroad to America all which was beyond my dreams. Mother sent me to the ship. She said to me cheerfully, Even though I may look sad, I am happy to have you go. You will not be discouraged by difficulties and disillusionments, but will overcome them. I have faith in you. A few years from now I shall see you here, a full-grown woman and well-accomplished. Her words filled my eyes with tears but my heart was fuller still. I was wordless as I saw her walking back to the shore. The rolling waves rolled proudly under my eyes. The boat marched steadily into the swelling heart of the sea. The world grew wider and wider in front of me as I watched while lofty white clouds sailed by.